In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for HBRO3, bromic acid. Bromic acid has a total of 26 valence electrons. We'll put the least electronegative element in the center, and hydrogen's always going to go on the outside. So we'll put Br right here in the center. And let's put our oxygens around. So we can tell this is an acid the way it's written. The H is out front. Because of that, it's likely that this H will go on one of the oxygens. So let's just put it there. So we have 26 valence electrons. Let's put pairs of electrons between elements to form chemical bonds. At this point, we've used eight valence electrons. Again, we have 26. Let's complete the octets on the elements around this central bromine atom. So now we've used 24 valence electrons and we have the two left over. Let's just put those on top of the bromine. And at this point, it looks like a pretty good Lewis structure. Everything has eight valence electrons, except the hydrogen, which only needs two. So we fulfilled the octet rule for the oxygens and the bromines. However, if we calculate the formal charges, we'll find that this isn't the most likely structure for HBrO3. Each of these oxygens here would have a formal charge of minus one. This oxygen would be zero, and the hydrogen would have a formal charge of zero. But this bromine in the center, that would have a formal charge of plus two. So we'd like these to be as close to zero as possible. To do that, we can move a pair of electrons to form a double bond. So if we move this pair of electrons here, we formed a double bond with the bromine. The oxygen still has eight valence electrons, and the bromine, that can have an expanded octet, so it's okay that it has more than eight. When we do that, the formal charge on this oxygen becomes zero, and the formal charge on the bromine becomes plus one. So this is a more favorable structure. We're closer to zero than we were before for the formal charges on each element. We can do even better though, because we can place another double bond here between this oxygen. Again, this oxygen has an octet, and the bromine, although it has two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 valence electrons, it's okay because bromine can have an expanded octet. And by doing that, the formal charges on the oxygen and the bromine are now both zero. So that makes this the most favorable or likely Lewis structure for HBRO3, bromic acid. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.